exhaustive presentation, uh, touching on social development, going through all issues, including my beloved issues like the change. <laughs> and then looking at, given uh, as a complete expose of, of land management uh, in the country. For the sake of time, I would just want to add a few things uh, because I've not been in the system for too long and I've managed to experience on my own what I think is our classified good practice and which I would recommend definitely for land management in the country. What I do know, which is factual, is that there's no special planning scheme in the country. Let's have a look at planning schemes. Special. So it's important that in order to reduce land disputes, that we all look at land parcel demarcation as an important aspect of land management in our country, where the schools should have the opportunity to delineate their school lands as well as holders or what we call the, uh, the local farmers and others to have that opportunity. Um, maybe I'll emphasize the issue of interdimensional equity, and I think I love that. But that is one of my basic principles in doing my land management within my division. Interdimensional equity is actually quite important. And if you think about that, it is that that will drive infusion of technology into land management in Ghana. I've looked at that and I've set up a land management system at my own local level where I'm able, using the coordinates of the land that I locate, to issue a unique ID for any parcel of land that I allocate. And that unique ID can never immediately coincide with any land that is sold. So it's a principle trying to lay the basis for the avoidance of double sale of land. Application of unique ID. And you can use modern technologies, the blockchain, to do that. And I think I would encourage my fellow traditional leaders to, to, to look at that. One other important thing I will, I will mention, and if I do that, I think I can even stop talking about it. Um, it's so linked with the, the, the national equity. It's the issue of transparency and accountability, which certainly also borders on the need to actually uh, be able to get rents for the land that we have. If there's no system where we can actually document land that has been allocated and be able to provide same data to the office of students. How are they going to collect the, the, the rents that, 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 that are due? So having a transparent system of allocation also helps us to generate the data that's needed and which the students specifically can also benefit from and in a way also support us. Sitting back, I think one important thing that I have reflected on and which I'm now looking at the new areas where I'm planning is to look at Maria was mentioning that we don't even have farmlands in the communities. Uh, it's because of the poor planning that we've been doing. If we did proper planning, proper land, or special planning to, to, to in the cities that we are planning, we can allocate land for farm. And you can go, I know many of you have traveled outside, in the cities there are farms, because somebody planned to allocate land for farming in the city. That's what for me, as, as, as a traditional ruler, I'm trying to enforce and ensure that that happens also. The other component that I would mention is now to look at land as a capital. And therefore, be able to invest land not only by just getting print money, but investing land in proper development as equity. And I've sat down to do some mathematics in terms of income generation over the years. If I invest my land 
in the development interest as equities of selling or getting to make money for the land. And that investment, as equity investment, would also address the issue of international equity. Because if I, for any reason, leave this tool dead or whatever, whoever comes up the land will have a source of revenue. There's no need to go money for any allocation because we have invested the land as a pretty holding and there's a return on investment. And you can do that calculation and you see how much money you make if you invest as a pretty land to dispose of the complete land. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for this event. I'm going to give the closing remarks to the Pro VC. Please, a round of applause for the Pro VC. <laughs> um, Chanfo, a representative of the Top for as well, Your Majesty, Kino Sikra will be the second. And I'm um, Provost, my Provost and good friend, uh, JT Bugri, who is also a land administrator, Dean, Deans. All of us uh, here in Ghana, it's been a, a fantastic afternoon, and I'm sure that you will agree with me with a round of applause to our keynote, who has taken us through the principles of sustainability. Uh, what touched me was the fact that she says to us that land is a gift of nature with fixed supply. And therefore, if we are to achieve or attain the sustainability development goals or the sustainable development goals, today's action will have future implications on this fixed supply of God's nature's gift. Thank you so very much. And I wish us a good day. Thank you very much, Professor Alessio Usidaboa. And if you think you did a fantastic job chairing the, the lecture series, please give her another round of applause. <laughs> We'd like to especially acknowledge a chance for as a for what chair the man born soon. As a for Hine or two for us, a colonel Hine for being a very special guest of honor today. Thank you very much. We also like to acknowledge our keynote speaker. Thank you very much, Mrs. Marian Johari. Thank you very much to the Pro VC. Thank you very much to the Pro Host, Professor Charles Marfo. Thank you very much to the Dean. Oh, your own Dean, you clap for him. It's like five months of your examination papers. I have a round of applause for the Dean. We'd like to acknowledge your very special presence, Nana Nung, here. Thank you so much. We really entreat you and crave your indulgence to take a good picture after we are done. We'll move quickly the table. We'll line up here and take a good picture. So this will be on record that we had an amazing lecture series with you in attendance. So please, we'll move them. And by your grace, your presence has been with us. You have been with us through our interaction. You are the giver of all resources, land inclusive. We thank you that as part of our academic exercise and our engagement with society, you have drawn our attention for our, our need to be good stewards of what you have entrusted to us. Thank you as stewards, as we use the land today, having a future in mind so that we will, I mean, we will have sustainable development as a nation to bring glory and honor to your name. As we are about to leave here, we commend ourselves to you, asking that you protect and shield us and carry each and every one of us on your eagle wings to our various destinations safely and soundly. We bless you for King West. We bless you our dear nation, Ghana. Bless us, O oh God, and let your glory be upon us. This are many more blessings we do ask through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please listen. Please remain seated. Do not leave until our special guest of honor have left the auditorium. And please. Yes, can we please position ourselves? Total legal services, please join the
photograph. 